Yes, uh, we, we got two, uh, returning starters, and then we got some young guys who uh, played significant time last year, and then we got some young kids that will, uh, will add a couple more pieces to the puzzle. So I feel very good. You know, uh, just got to make sure those guys that are uh, behind the starters are ready to go at any time. They won't play away from playing. One of those, Jaden Lucas. Tell me about him. He's an upstate kid. Uh, I mean, if you go back and you look at the young man coming out of high school, extremely athletic, um, made great plays. Uh, just look at the ACC championship game and uh, he made a heck of an interception. But, you know, it's a telltale sign of something that he did the last game he played in his high school career at the uh, normal football game. What stands out about this group that you think can be a defining characteristic? What are you trying to cultivate out of them that, that they already bring to the table? That everybody's a starter. You know, that you know, you're just one play away from uh, being a starter and that you gotta be ready when your time is called. The value on having Sheridan come back for that extra year, that leadership that he brings. Um you know, anytime you get a young man that has significant snaps like Sheridan, he's been through the test. Uh, through injury, uh, through a lot of adversity. You know, he's like a wise man. You know, he can pour, pour into these young kids and uh, become their leader when uh, when I'm not around. When you look at this group, what is the strength that you have? I would say athleticism, uh, leadership, um, guys who've had a significant uh, time of playing. You know, uh, guys who've been through fire. You know, you talk about a kid uh, Toriano Pride and Jaden Lucas who come in as two freshmen play uh, a lot of snaps, which is very good. So now you feel comfortable with the depth, you know. So now you, you know you have four guys legitimately that can go in in any game and start. They um, selected on this season last year. I guess we're using the first try. What's next? Oh, you saw uh, continually getting better, game after game, getting more confident, getting more situated. Uh, in his position and in his role to a point where, you know, uh, he didn't want to come off the field, you know. So it, it was good, and hopefully he can take that from spring and carry it over into the fall. So Dad, we talked about maturity with him last year, and we talked about that also. Have you seen a jump from him in that yeah. sort of off field and leadership wise too? Yeah, Most yeah. definitely. I mean, you, you're in a program such as this who uh, basically squeeze it. You know, you're not going to be able to, to, to be stagnant, stay the same in this type of program where there's uh, a lot of people that are, you know, pushing, pushing you and pulling you and pressing you to be better. Be better. Toriano is a guy that maybe could have let his confidence, you know, fail a little bit last year, but it doesn't look like it did. What do you look for him going into this season? Um, big things. You know, the kid's a true freshman. You know, and I don't know too many defensive backs that have never given up. Uh, Never give up a touchdown. You know, the greatest was to give up a touchdown. Uh, it goes that you know, come back. That's what you want to see from a young man, and he did. And so, uh, from that aspect, you know, I'm very excited about it. Sheridan, I know we talked about him having a bit of veteran guy, but just what do you feel like you need to see out of him? Well, I need to see a guy that, you know, just goes out there and just lays it on the line. This is his last rock. So it's no more, hey, coach, I'm coming back for a, a, a six year. You know, he's done. He's, uh, so it's, for him, it's just time to go out and, 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 and utilize all the skills that he's acquired and all the God-given talent that has been given to him and just let it go. And you do have some freshmen coming in. What is your plan for them? What, what do you see out of those guys? Well, my, my, uh, the plan is, hey, our recruited them to play you know uh, I'm not here to you know put guys on the bench and you know heck I may die tomorrow you know so I want to see these guys play and I'm sure they want to play too so uh, you know the plan is hey get them to learn the playbook get uh, make that transition from high school to college and, and let's go what's realistic for a guy like Mason Kelly who comes in from just down the road I mean a couple miles away well, what's realistic for year one Year one is to get on the field in any aspect, special teams, offense, defense, uh, wherever you know he can find a role and, 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 and flourish. Is he an underrated guy? Um, I mean, when you say underrated, I don't, I don't know. Uh, we we were able to watch this young man grow up uh, over the years, and you know, uh, maybe if his school played the number one school in the country, maybe I don't know. Uh, we're excited to have him here. I know that. I'll, I'll, I'm, I'm glad he's rocking with me. With a two-way guy like that, how does the 
you don't practice time 13 time kind of getting split for someone that when he comes in, nobody's going to well, you, you, what you want to do is you want to make sure the kid has a strong foundation on either side of the ball. You know, you don't want him to flip flop around and he just be out there like a fish out of water. You know, you want to get him to a place where he, you know, he has a strong uh, foundation where he can now he can have some confidence. Because that's the one thing a lot of times these kids don't have when they come from transition from high school to college is that confidence that need they need to uh, to, be, to be very good. Does it remind you of anybody who's come through the program before that you coach? Uh, mm, they're all different, you know, in, in aspects, you know, and I haven't been around him, you know, for a couple of weeks. So, you know, just to, you know, you, you see him from afar, you know, but now when you have him with you day in and day out and you can truly get to know these young men, is you know, you know, I'll be able to give you a better at, uh, uh, assessment of it. You remember the last two-way guy you coached here? Or there's been any experience there that a clip center maybe the previous uh, one so split both ways? And Ray Ray McLeod. And if I could rewind again, Heck, I thought Ray Ray would have been a better quarterback than he was a receiver. But hey, he's having a successful career in the NFL, so hey, it's worked out for him. But you know, me being selfish, I wish he played a little bit more deep just the back. When you're looking at young, young guys, first year guys, what is the one thing that kind of sticks out? It's like, okay, this guy is ready to play at this level right now. A guy that plays at a tremendous speed. Now, not ultimately, you know, he, he's a guy that you know, drill, whatever it is, he's going full speed. He makes a mistake, he's going full speed. And some people don't under realize what, what coaches say, you know, if you make a mistake, make it go on full speed. It means, hey, whatever you do, just go. You know, don't think about it, just go. You know, as, as, as uh, my mom used to say, if you're thinking, you're stinking. You know, I need a guy that's not thinking, just playing.